Number 14. Open the build an atom simulation and then there's a link here. So if you guys don't have the simulation open, which is the one on the right hand side of the screen, you can go into the description. I have a link there for you. All you got to do is either click on it or copy and paste it and you'll get this screen that's on the right hand side. Okay, so I see that I have A and B, so I'm just going to write A and B. So once you click on this, you will get this type of, uh, actually, hold on, there's two of them here. Okay, so once you click on this, you will get this screen. All you gotta do is click this play button. And I'm assuming that we're clicking the atom one, so I'm going to click the atom here. So now we're here. So now they say for A, it says drag protons, neutrons, and electrons onto the atom template to make a neutral atom of oxygen 16 and give the isotope symbol for this atom. Okay. So they're telling us that we need to make oxygen 16. All right. So, and they say that we want a neutral atom. So a neutral atom means no charge, right? So whenever something has no charge, that means that the net charge should be zero, right? Net charge is zero. And if my net charge equals my number of protons minus my electrons, if it's zero, technically my protons and my electrons should have the same number. So first off, let's figure out what oxygen is, and that we will figure out from the atomic number, right? Because each element has its own specific whole number, atomic number, which is always equal to the number of protons. So I'm going to click keep dragging protons until I get the element oxygen. So here's hydrogen, here's helium, here's lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. There we go. So we figured out that oxygen has how many uh, protons? Eight, right? So protons will equal eight, and that is the atomic number for oxygen. Next, we need to make it neutral. So that means that the number of protons has to equal the number of electrons. So if neutral, if neutral. So I'll just say if neutral atom, the number of protons have to always equal the number of electrons because the number of positives have to equal the number of negatives. So if you have eight protons, technically you should have eight electrons. So I'm gonna drag that in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we just want the number of neutrons. Now they're telling us that it's oxygen 16. This 16 obviously does not represent the atomic number. This 16 will represent the mass number. And what does the mass number always equal? Mass number will always equal the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if we have an atomic number of, sorry, if we have a mass number of 16, 16 equals eight, because that's how many protons we have, plus what? Eight plus eight, right? So we should have eight neutrons. So I'm gonna drag in eight neutrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect. Now they just say give the isotope symbol. So a symbol, remember, has the three specific things. If I'm saying anything for a given element, I need to cover the top left, that's the Z number, the A number, and the charge. I'll just put either negative or positive. The Z number is the mass number, the bigger number. The A number is the atomic number, the smaller one. And then the charge is obviously the plus or the minus, it's the net charge. So here, I'm gonna write it down here. My symbol for oxygen is O. The Z number is the mass number. 
And the mass number we figured out was 16 because that's what they told us, right? 16. So that goes up top here. The atomic number for oxygen will always be 8 because that's the number of protons. And the neutral charge, the net charge, was protons minus electrons. It was 0. So in this case, we don't have to write a 0 here. You can just write nothing and it is assumed that there is no charge. So this would be the full answer for A. Now they're saying add two more electrons to make an ion and give the symbol for the ion that you have created. Okay, so here I'm going on my simulation. I add two more electrons. And now let's see. O, because we got to give the symbol, right? And an ion is just a charged element or a charged atom. So it's got to have a charge in the upper right-hand corner. We just got to figure out what it is. Now, the atomic number should not change, right? The number down here shouldn't change because we didn't do anything with the protons. So the 8 should stay here. The 16, that has nothing to do with electrons, so that shouldn't change. So this is still a 16 up top here. The only thing that should change is the charge. Now here, let's figure out what our charge should be. Our charge, our net charge, which is what we're solving for, x, equals the number of protons, which was 8, plus now how many electrons do we have? 10, right? And remember, it's protons minus electrons. So it would be 8 minus, we now have a total of 10. So x would now be a negative 2 charge, and that goes in the upper right-hand corner. Box that answer off. That's the answer to part B. So with more electrons, you will always have a negative charge. With more protons, you will always have a positive charge. And that was basically everything that we had to do for 14. So I hope this helped out, guys. If you want, go check this simulation out for yourself. It's pretty cool. And you guys will learn a lot from it. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next question, and if you wouldn't mind, just click subscribe. It would help us out to get out to more students like yourself who wants to do well in a lot of subjects. Chemistry, physics, we got more subjects coming your way. So thank you for that, and I will see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.